Do you want a brief overview of the features of Nitrogen OS and learn how to install it on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Punchy here, back with another video. And in this video, I am going to show you the features of Nitrogen OS based on Android 9.0 Pi running on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. And once we are done with that, I will show you how you can install Nitrogen OS based on Android 9.0 Pi on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. These are the apps which come pre-installed with Nitrogen OS. Do note it does not come with Google Apps installed so you have to install the latest Google Apps. Other than that you have your ASOP browser, calendar, Google camera app in the building working absolutely fine on Nitrogen OS with Night Sight working as well. And of course you can go ahead and install the latest Google camera APKs on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. Then you have a file browser, the FM radio app working absolutely fine as well. Gallery, ASOP messaging app and the phone app. Let us now go ahead and go into settings. Nothing much to talk about in network and internet and connected devices. Let's go ahead and click on apps and notifications. We've already talked about what apps come pre-installed. If you go ahead and click on time spent in apps, it will show you how much time you've spent in certain applications. And you can also go ahead and set a predetermined time which you want to spend in certain applications. This is something like digital well-being, but the custom ROMs implemented it well before Google introduced digital well-being with Android 9.0 Pi. Let us now go ahead and go back. Click on advanced. You have your option to set the default applications per app permissions wherein you can determine which app have access to your camera, microphone and the other sensors. Let us now go ahead and click on battery. You have your regular battery saver option which you can turn on if you are low on battery and not near a charging port. Then you have battery manager which was added by Google in Android 9.0 Pi baked into Nitrogen OS. So this option is AI plus machine learning wherein it will tell you if a certain app is draining your battery and then you can go ahead and restrict that app from draining your battery. Other than that you have your last full charge like how many minutes or hours ago you fully charged your phone and your screen on time as well. Let us now go ahead and go into display so you can set your brightness level using this option. You have your night light wherein you can specify the time when you want your screen to go a bit dimmer so that you do not have much strain on your eyes. Next you have adaptive brightness again something which Google added in Android 9.0 Pi where the phone learns your brightness settings in different environments and then when you're back in that environment it will automatically adjust your brightness to your specific level. Let us now go ahead and click on wallpaper. We'll go ahead and go into live wallpapers. You can go ahead and install the Google Pixel 3 live wallpapers APK on this guy. It does not come pre-installed with that but they work absolutely fine on your home screen and also on your lock screen. Let us now go ahead and click on advanced. So you have your option to set your sleep after how many minutes, rotation, font size, the display size, whether you want a screensaver or not ambient display in the building working absolutely fine so you can go ahead and enable it for new notifications then you have double tap to wake your screen when the device is off next up you have the option to hide the notch baked right into the display settings go ahead and enable this guy it won't reflect right away click on the home button and bam there it is our display notch is now hidden so a great feature from nitrogen os then you have device theme go ahead and set it to light and bam quick settings in light go ahead and change it to dark and bam quick settings are in dark now let us now go ahead and go into sounds not much customization in sound just your regular android options but you do have the android 9.0 pi style volume control on the side and you can go ahead and change your ringer using this guy over here let us now go into security and lock screen so your fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine your screen lock is working absolutely fine and if you go ahead and go into smart lock and then go ahead and click on the trusted face you can go ahead and use the infrared camera on the poco f1 for face unlock working like a boss Next up you have digital well-being which is part of the nano google apps package which I installed. This is where you can see how much time you spent in certain applications and you can also go ahead and limit the time you want to spend in certain applications. 
Next up, we have personalization, and this is where you have all the custom settings for Nitrogen OS. Go ahead and click on status bar, and you can go ahead and choose what items you want in the status bar. You can also go ahead and customize your battery icon whether you want a notification for ADB or not, whether you want network traffic indicators and the speed in your status bar or not. And you have other options like smart clock, roaming indicator, the vault icon. Let us now go ahead and go into quick settings. So you have the brightness slider, this guy over here, you can go ahead and change it if you want it at the bottom, whether you want the adaptive brightness button in the quick settings panel or not, and whether you want the brightness control buttons the plus and minus in the quick settings or not let us now go ahead and go into buttons click on volume rockers so from here you can control what you want to do with your volume rockers you can go ahead and choose to skip a track change a track or use the volume rockers to wake the screen on your phone let us now go ahead and go into navigation bar so you can enable or disable your navigation bar from here and you also have the option of choosing between three different style of navigation bars so you can choose stock smart bar or fling wherein stock is just stock smart bar and fling let you customize the way you want to use your navigation bar next up let us go ahead and go into gestures if you go ahead and click on aesop gestures click on this guy swipe up on home button enable it there it is bam android 9.0 pi gestures in the building if you're not a fan of Aesop gestures, you can go ahead and use the navigation gestures as well, wherein you can go ahead and go back if you swipe up from the left side or the right side and swipe up from center will take you to home, swipe up from center and hold will take you to your recents. So this is basically the OnePlus gestures baked into Nitrogen OS. Other options in gestures include double tap on the status bar to put the device to sleep and double tap on certain parts of the lock screen to put the device to sleep as well. Let us now go ahead and go into lock screen. So if you want, you can go ahead and enable the charging information on the lock screen using this guy over here, whether you want authentication for the fingerprint or not. And you have an awesome option called face auto unlock. So with this guy enabled, as soon as you press the power button to unlock your phone and it detects that your face is there, it will automatically unlock the phone, meaning you don't have to swipe up on your screen to unlock the phone. Next up, we have the power menu. So from here, you can decide what all options you want and the power menu. So let us go ahead and enable flashlight and bam, there we have it, the flashlight option in the power menu. Let us now go ahead and go into notifications. You can choose the different style of notifications you want. So you can enable heads up notification if you want, whether you want the battery charging light or not, whether you want notification light or not. And you also have these three very useful options for your in-call vibration. So as soon as your call connects, it will vibrate. It will also vibrate on call waiting and it can also vibrate on disconnect. So pretty nifty features added into Nitrogen OS over here. And last but not the least, you have miscellaneous where you have bake lock blocker, alarm blocker, and app op. As for the benchmark score, this is the benchmark score which I got on Nitrogen OS based on Android 9.0 Pi on the Xiaomi Poco F1. All right, YouTube, let's go ahead and see how you can install Nitrogen OS based on Android 9.0 Pi on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. Do note you need to have an unlocked bootloader, go up recovery installed. Make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent and also make sure you've backed up your data because we're going to do a factory reset and all your pictures videos music will be lost so make sure you've backed those things up all the files which i'm going to be using are listed in the description of this video next thing go ahead and go into settings once you're in settings scroll down go into lock screen and password and i suggest that you remove your fingerprint face unlock pin passcode once that is done, go ahead and go back, go into me account and also remove your me account. Once you've removed your me account, go back, go into sync. And I also suggest that you remove your Google account. We are removing all these things so that you do not get locked out of your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone because we are installing a custom ROM. Once you have taken care of all those things, we need to go ahead and power off your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. Once you've turned your phone off, press and hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time till you see the TWAP recovery boot logo. Once we are in TWAP recovery, we'll go ahead, click on wipe, click on advanced wipe. You need to select Dalvik cache system and data and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once that is done, go ahead, click on the home button. Back on the TWAP recovery home screen, go ahead and click on install. The first file which we need to flash is the latest Android 9.0 Pi vendor. This guy over here, go ahead and select it and then swipe to confirm the flash. 
Once the vendor zip file has flashed successfully, go ahead click on the home button, click on install one more time. And now we're going to go ahead and flash the Nitrogen OS ROM zip file and the Google Apps zip file. So we'll go ahead and select Nitrogen OS zip file, click on add more zip, select the Open G Apps ARM64 9.0 nano package and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once Nitrogen OS ROM zip file and Google Apps zip file have flashed successfully, go ahead click on the home button, click on install one more time. The next file which we need to flash is the disable force encryption zip file. We're flashing this to avoid any encryption issues later on. So we'll go ahead and select this guy and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once the zip file has flashed successfully, go ahead, click on the home button, click on wipe, click on format data, type in yes. And do note, this is where we're going to factory reset your device, your pictures, videos, music, everything will be lost. So make sure you pack them up. Once you've confirmed those things, go ahead and click on the check mark button on the bottom right. Once the file has flashed successfully, we are done. We'll go ahead and click on reboot system. And bam, there we have it, Nitrogen OS boot animation on a Xiaomi Poco F1 phone, which means we have successfully installed Nitrogen OS based on Android 9.0 Pi on a Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. That's it for this video, YouTube. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. <laughs>